the one thing. The best approach to capitalize on your work and your life is to do as little as could be expected under the circumstances. A lot of people think that this would be counterproductive. They prepare to stun the world with achievements that are breathtaking and groundbreaking. Therefore, their timetables and plan for the day wind up being completely overwhelming. To reach your goals, you must take steps that are attainable. Enormous achievement comes when we complete a couple of things well, not when we try to take on a laundry list of tasks. Nothing will make you want to give up your dreams like being overwhelmed and completely stressed out. Your time is valuable. Your resources are exhaustive. So when you spread yourself out, you wind up spread too thin and unable to do anything well. You need your actions to add to your life and your accomplishments, not take away from them. You should do fewer things better. The problem with trying to do more is that you set yourself up for missed due dates, poor outcomes, high pressure over extended periods of time. Lost rest, horrible eating routine, no social life, and missed minutes with family. The worst part is that you don't even accomplish any more than you would if you'd focused on one or two things and learned to perfect them. It works consistently on any goal that you want to move toward. Why? Since it has just a single reason to at least come to the heart of the matter. When you focus on one thing as much as can reasonably be expected, you'll be looking at a certain goal instead of many. That's the point of all this. Two, the domino effect. When you create a line of dominoes, you can look at each domino representing a seemingly small amount of energy. As you line up the dominoes, you create more potential energy. Line up enough and with a basic Lick, you can begin a chain reaction of astonishing force. Weyer's Domino Productions demonstrated it. In 1983, Lorne Whitehead wrote in the American Journal of Physics that he'd found that dominoes couldn't just create a chain reaction, but also they could likewise topple bigger dominoes than themselves with the force that they create. He showed how a solitary domino is equipped for cutting down another domino at 50% bigger. So if you line up a bunch of things that you want to get done and take things one step at a time, you're going to reach your goal quicker. Simply put, you're creating a chain of events that will lead you to being able to accomplish tasks that are two or three times bigger and better than you may have originally thought possible. On the other hand, when you have too much going on, you lose track of what you're trying to do. Think about your phone. You have as many tabs open as you would like. However, the more tabs you open, the faster you're going to drain your battery. You won't be able to accomplish as much simply because you're wasting so much energy just trying to keep track of everything you have going on. Decide what you want to do. Create a chain of events that need to happen. Focus on a single task that will lead you closer to your goal. In this way, you'll do more by doing less. Do one thing to the best of your ability. Give it your total and complete focus. Then you'll see how easy it is to reach your goal. Accomplish more each day and be more satisfied with everything that you have in life. Yes, we are all multitaskers. But that doesn't mean that we're doing anything more than spinning our wheels in the mud. Slow down and be focused. 3. Success leaves clues. Therefore, after looking at that concept, we can have a frank heart-to-heart -heart discussion about how the one thing actually works. I do want to openly talk about the myths and misinformation that keep us. These are typically the lies that prevent success. Once we banish these from our minds, we could take up the one thing with an available mind and a path that's clear. That time spent eventually translates to experience. Let's face it, when skill improves, our outcomes improve. Greater results generally lead to more enjoyment. You're able to dedicate more passion and more time. It's as if the hinged doors to your globe have already been flung wide open. Plus, the view that's available is staggering. 
Through innovation and technology, opportunities abound, and possibilities seem endless. As inspiring as this will be, it could be equally overwhelming. The consequence that's unintended is that we are bombarded with more information and choices in a day than our ancestors had in a lifetime. Harried and rushed, we attempt too much and accomplish too little. This haunts our days. We sense intuitively that the path to more is through less. But the relevant concern is where to begin. From all that a full life is offering, how will you choose? How will you result in the best decisions possible? Experience life at a level that's extraordinary and never look back. Remember the one thing. The one thing sits at the center of success and could be the point which you started achieving extraordinary results. Based on research and real life experience, success is a large idea covered in a package that's disarmingly simple. Explaining it is effortless. Following it can be tough. Extraordinary companies that are successful have one service or product they're most known for, or that makes them the absolute most money. Look behind any whole story of extraordinary success, and the something is always there. It also turns up around individual passions and skills. We each have passions and skills, but you'll see extraordinarily effective people with one emotion that's intense, one learned ability that shines through defining them or driving them more than whatever else. Often, the relative line between passion and skill could be blurry. That's because they're almost always connected. Pat Matthews, one of America's greatest impressionists, states that he turned his passion for painting as a skill and fundamentally a profession, simply by painting one painting a day. The six lies between you and success. Nothing is more important than anything else. Multitasking. You must live a disciplined lifestyle. Willpower is something that everyone has all the time. You must have a balanced life. Big is going to give you problems. The six lies are beliefs that get into our heads and become operational principles driving us the wrong way. Highways that end as bunny trails. Fool's gold that diverts us from the mother love. If we're going to maximize our potential, we're going to have to make sure we put these lies to bed. 4. Everything matters equally. To-do lists are a staple of this time management and success business. With our desires and others' wishes flying right and left, we impulsively jot them down on scraps of paper, in moments of clarity, or construct them methodically in printed notepads. If permitted, they set our priorities exactly the exact same manner an inbox can dictate daily. Most inboxes overflow with insignificant emails, masquerading as priorities. Tackling these tasks in the order we receive them is behaving like the squeaky wheel immediately deserves the dirt. You might have heard that if it's important, then it will make itself known. Achievers operate otherwise. They have an eye to the essential. They pause only long enough to decide what matters and then allow what matters to drive their day. Achievers do earlier what others plan to do later and defer, perhaps indefinitely, what others do sooner. The distinction is not in aim, but in right away. Achievers consistently work from a clear sense of priority. Left in its raw state as a straightforward inventory, a to-do list can easily lead you astray. A to-do list is simply the things you believe you need to do. The very first thing on your list is merely the first thing you thought of. To-do lists inherently lack the aim of succeeding. In fact, the majority of to-do lists are actually just survival lists, getting you through your day and your lifetime, but not making daily a stepping stone for another to ensure you simply construct a successful life. Long hours spent checking off a to-do record and ending the afternoon with a complete trash can and a clean desk aren't virtuous and have nothing to do with success. Rather than a to-do list, you want a success list. 
a list that's intentionally generated around extraordinary results. Equality is a worthy ideal pursued in the name of justice and human rights. In the actual world of outcomes, however, things are never equal. No matter how teachers measure, two students are not equal. No matter how fair officials attempt to be, contestants are not equal. No matter how talented men and women are, no two are ever equal. A dime equals 10 cents, and people should be treated fairly. But in the area of achievement, everything doesn't matter. Equality is a lie. Understanding this is the basis of great choices. So how do you pick? When you have a lot to get done today, how do you decide what to do?